Lori here from Lori Book Trials. Today I'm going to do something that I never really do, an unhauling. I got so many books here. Some of the books I either already own another copy of or I just can't get into. Or I just don't, I like, but I just don't think I'll read anymore. So, the first one is also going to be on my TBR tomorrow. I mean on my wrap up because I tried reading it and DNF'd it. Which I hated because it's so beautiful, but Pride by E.B. Zo... How do you say her name? Yes. I did not... I could not get into this book. I couldn't... I didn't care for the character, so I DNF'd it. This one, I'm not going... I'm going to probably save and give in a... Um, give in a... Um, like, whenever I get to 100 subscribers, I wanted to do a, a, a giveaway. So I'm hoping that someone else will love this. Whoever wins will love this book. Yeah. So, because look, it's the Owl Crate one. So you get it signed. So yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing this, giving this one as a, for like I said, a contest. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to put it up here because I don't want to put it in the actual pile. Some of these I'm not even going to talk about why I'm getting rid of. I'm just going to show you. I got this Cameron Poe. It's by Cameron Poe. It's called Red Agenda. I don't think I will ever read this. That's. I'll just show you what it says here. Maybe give you the little blurb if you can read it. But I don't see myself ever reading this one. This one I was on the fence about getting rid of, but I don't think I'll get to it. And if I get to it, it might be a year or two down the line. So that's the Rook. By Daniel O'Malley. Says, on Her Majesty's Supernatural Secret Service. I think it's a girl, that a lady that loses her memory or something. And then she finds, I don't know. Exactly. But anyways, I don't think I'll ever read that one. Another one I tried reading. Neverworld Wake by Marsha. 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 Hassel. How do you say her name? It says, I was going to be stuck here forever, here in the never world where I never grow old, never have a family, never fall in love. I was a ticking clock in a timeless world. I tried reading this and I was lost. So, I don't need it. Like, there's a pile behind me, so, I'm gonna, so if you see my arms moving, you know why. This one, I was really, like, rustling with about getting rid of. Do I really want to get rid of it? But I decided to. It's Ink, Iron, and Glass by Gwendell Clare. It says, Our best weapons are words. So, I do have a signed book plate on that one, if you can see. But, yeah. I tried reading that a while ago, and I remember not liking it. Another one. This is a book of the month. This is The Lies We Told. I tried so hard to read this, and I did not like it at all so get rid of that the witch's hunter or the witch hunter by virginia boker boker so now what i'm getting rid of couldn't get into it most of these i couldn't get into i got this little christmas one it's the met ford snowman a christmas story that one's going bye-bye. I got Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Mayer, Meyer, how do you say it? I tried to read this like four, five times, and I can't get past chapter like four or five. It's just going to stay on my shelf when I need bookshelf. This one I already have a copy of, and this one's falling apart. That one's going bye-bye. Since I got another copy, like I said. This one, as you know, I couldn't stand. I hated this book. So, it's going bye-bye. Some of these I'm going to just probably just throw away because I wrote in them. And I don't know if anybody would want a book that you wrote in. But this one's definitely going away. Couldn't stand it. Another one I couldn't stand. All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. Couldn't stand it. Bored. Another one I couldn't stand. Bored. Ink. Couldn't stand it, couldn't stand it, which is sad because the cover is gorgeous, but couldn't stand it. Another one I read halfway through, couldn't get into it. 
bring me their hearts, getting rid of. It's a one where she's supposed to, like, I'll tell you the beginning of it. It says uh, um, that she's supposed to, the only way she could get her heart back, because this lady has her heart, and the only way she could get it back is by killing the, um, the crown prince. I tried getting into it. I got, like, halfway done. Was bored. This one is going to be one that you guys are going to be like, oh, my God, why are you getting rid of it? But Miss Peculiar's Home for Peculiar Children, just, it's really nice, you guys, but I just don't see myself reading this. And if I read it, it probably won't be for a long time. There's even, a um like, a postcard. Isn't that cute? But... I don't see myself reading it, which is sad because I know uh, Jesse the Reader. That's like one of his favorite series. This one, I was debating between, but I was like, I liked it okay. But I was like, am I ever going to read this one again? And I decided, no, I'll never read it. So that's The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kristen White. Well, that one's going bye-bye. I got a couple more. I know some of these are very popular, and you're going to be like, Lori, they're popular. Why are you getting rid of them? Kandara Blake, Three Dark Crowns. I tried like three or four times to get into this. Can't get past the first couple of chapters. Another Owl Crate one, which is From Twinkle with Love. It's signed as well. Getting rid of that one. I try, I'm not very much into contemporary, and I tried reading it. I couldn't get into it. Dread Nation by Justine Ireland. I couldn't understand. I mean, I was confused on things about it, and I just couldn't get into it. This one, I don't remember how I got this, but it's Forgetten, Forgotten Men, The Bayou Huntings, a novel by award-winning author Bill Thompson. I did try reading it, couldn't get into it. I hate getting rid of it because I think it was an art. So, I don't know, like, what you're supposed to do. Let me know what you're supposed to do with arcs. Because you can't, like, you can't, like, give them to a, like, a, like, say, a Goodwill or something, right? Let me know. For right now, I'm going to put it up here. Because I don't know what else you're supposed to do with it, otherwise. This one is really, like, I really had to wrestle with myself with this one. But, because I know so many people like it. I'm sorry, you guys, but I tried reading it a couple of times. I just... I cannot get into it. This was from, um, what was it from? My Guilty Pleasures. I just couldn't get into it. I tried because I know so many, so many people love this series. I know the new so book just came out, Song of the, something. But I just can't get into it. This one, another one I couldn't stand. What the Woods Kept by Kate, uh, Kata, da, Becca, or Becca, how do you say her name? I can't say it, sorry. Another Christmas, another Christmas one called The Christmas List by Richard Paul Evans. Some of these I don't even have covers. Oh, this ain't post. Yeah, it is. This one I'm just getting rid of because I got the new editions. This is Empire of Storms. This one, I wrote in and stuff, I think. So, I'm not going to, like, give this to anybody because it's wrote in. Well, I might. I might just give it to the Goodwill. They, and they will do something with it if they don't want it. But I'm just getting rid of that because just like, um, Shad, uh, what was that one? Uh, the other book that was really popular that I'm getting rid of. It's because I already have a copy. I couldn't get into this, and which is really sad because it looks so interesting. My favorite sister, couldn't get into it. We're almost to the other pile behind me. I got this Island of Ch Ch Chaudella, Chaudella, something like that, by Diana Wine Jones. Can't get into it. These two are together. Um, Dangerous Deception and Dangerous Creatures. Then we got Don't Dr Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover, 
which is not the first one in the series, and I don't feel like buying the whole series. I'm buying any more into the series to read that one. Time Traveler's Wife. I know this is really popular, but I can't get into it, and I don't see myself reading it anytime soon. Most of these are just books that I just don't see myself reading, or I just didn't like. This one, Bound by Blood and Sand by Becky L. Allen. It says, After so many generations of lies and sorrow, she would either end her people's enslavement or she'd end everything. I just couldn't get into it. Another one I couldn't get into was The House of the Four Winds by Mercedes Lackey and, Lackey and James Mallory. Can we get into that? Now we gotta grab to stuff around here. Most of these over here I like, but I don't see myself reading. Like this one, I liked. I gave it like a three and a half, four, four stars, something like that. I don't see myself reading it anymore. So I'm getting rid of that one, which is Angel and Bavar. It was a cute story, and it's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, but a, for younger kids. Then we got this one, which I really love, but I just don't see myself reading it. And that is this is this heart of mine by C.C. Hunter. This is a new heart saved her life, but will it keep, help her find out what really happened to its donor? It was really good, but I just don't see myself reading it anymore. This one I couldn't get into. The Forbidden Wish by. Jessica Cora? Kira? I don't know how you say her name. Couldn't get into that. This one was cute, but I don't see myself reading anymore. Graphic novel. Or whatever you want to say. And Strange by Ethan M. Elridge. I did like this. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't see myself reading it anymore. Which is sad because it's really pretty, but. The Forgotten Book, I really like this one as well, but I don't see myself reading it anymore. Like, some of these I just went, like, okay. I went through my shelf and I was like, do I think I'm going to read this anymore? And if my answer is nope, then... Yeah. Then I put it in this pile. There's still a few that I'm going to try to read first, but I'm not going to sh show you that because we'll be here all day. I don't want to like wait for this whole series. I know I have at least one more of these of this in the in the book. I mean, in my pile. But this one here, which is the Chronic Chronics of Nick, he was in one of those ones, like the Storm Hunters. Well, not the Storm Hunters. What are they called? I forget what they were called. I forget what they're called. But anyways, this one I'm getting rid of. I got some more. This one I tried getting into and I was bored, which is sad because I love Farrah, 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 however you say her name, and, um, no, why did I forget his name? Rysan, Rysan, but I tried reading it, couldn't get into it, and I know a lot of people didn't like this book. Ooh, don't want to get rid of that. Don't want to lose my bookmark. Okay, we got a few more. All right. We got Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. This is another one I really liked. Don't get me wrong. I liked it. But it's another one that I was like, am I going to read it? Am I going to read it? Be honest to yourself, Laura. You're going to read it. And it was another no. So, that is going bye-bye. Then we got A Beast of Extraordinary Circumstances by Ruth Emmy Lang. I really like this book, but it's another one I don't see myself Reading anytime soon. I'm trying to remember if this one has a book plate. Because I know I got it from a from something. But I don't think it has a book plate. I think this was from um uh chant oh, no. Once upon a book club. But yeah, I don't think there's I don't think there's a plate. It just looked weird. I said there was like a like a like a uh, line there, but no. But I did like this, don't get me wrong, but I just don't see myself reading it anymore. But it was a really good book. And we got... I already said that, right? Yeah. And then we got the other one by um, 
in the um, Chronics of Nyx series, which is Infinity. I don't even know like what numbers these are. I think this might be the first one, maybe. But I'm not positive. But that one's going to go bye-bye because I do not want to buy any more books to get to all those. Two more. We got Frankenstein by Marin, Mar Mary Shelley. I really didn't want to get rid of it, but it's so small. Like, I can't read it because it's so small, but look how beautiful. But, yeah. Just too small. And this last one is going to be... Like, some people really loved and other people couldn't stand it. And I really hate getting rid of it because of the cover, but I only gave it, like, three, three and a half stars. I do think I will read the next one by her that's coming out later, towards the end of the year. But it's The Wicked Deep by Shay, Shay, Shay Earnshaw, Earnshaw. The one with the Swan Sisters. Don't get me wrong, I re this is a pretty good book, but I just... It's another one that I only gave like three and a half stars, so I don't see myself ever reading it again. I don't know if I wrote in this one. I don't think I did. I might have underlined a couple things. I don't think people might might not mind that. So what I might do is take the tabs off of it, and you know, we'll see. Or I might just leave the tabs there and see what, like I said, the person I give it to. If they don't want it, then they'll do something with it. But those are all the books I'm going to unhaul. Really quick, I'll show you some of the, just a couple of the books that I'm on the fence about. I can't show you some of them because my books are, my book, those are holding the, um, the, um, what you call it. But these are the ones I'm not sure about yet. These ones, like I said, I'm not sure. So they might not be going away. I'm talking about Book Babe 88, Ashley, because I know you said you might want some of the books. But these fallen ones are things I'm on the fence about, but I'm not ready to give up yet. So I'm going to read some of it, and it'll go if I don't want it, or if I read it and I don't see me, re you know, liking it, then I'll unhaul it at another date. But this one, I'm really, really hoping I like, because I know a lot of people love this book. And that is Sweet Black Waves. I am going to try my hardest to read this one. I should put those there. I don't want to accidentally put them in with the ones I'm definitely getting rid of. Some of these you already saw before. Like um, this one I've been on the fence about for a while. But I still haven't got a chance to read a couple of chapters. And I'm still going to want to read a couple of chapters. And that's The Flight of the Silvers. By Daniel Price. Still going to try to read this one. Another one. Which I got from. Um, Fake Crate. That I might be getting rid of. Is Outrun the Wind. Another one I'm thinking about. Getting. I mean thinking about. But not sure yet. Is Rain the Earth. I'm going to try to read this one. Like in a couple of months and then I'll let you know. Or I might put it in my TBR for April. We'll see. And then I got... Hope you guys don't mind. I'll just hold my hand like this and show you. I got... This one you guys saw me already say. I don't know if I'm going to keep. It's Tempest, Tempest and Slaughter by Tamriel Pierce. It's another one I'm thinking about, but not sure. Another one is Ox and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. I'm thinking about getting rid of that one, but I'm going to try. What I'm thinking about doing is, like, putting them in a cup. Like in April and picking, like, there's eight, I believe. Picking four out of the eight and trying to read in April. Another one is The Bells by Danielle Clayton. And the last one that I'm on the fence about is The Diabolical by S.J. Kincaid. So those eight are the ones that I am going to be reading in the next couple of months. Probably in April and May. Because you guys know I already did my TBR. I got a lot of books already that I'm going to be reading this month. Coming, I mean starting tomorrow. So yes. But those are the books that 
books on the one, like I said, are the ones I'm definitely unhauling. And the other ones are the ones I'm on the fence about. So they might go in a later unhauling. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this is a little over 20 minutes. I'm trying not to, like, go too much over 20. So I'm trying to wrap this up soon. But, yeah. That is it. Let me... Let me know which ones you guys think I should have gave, I should give another chance. Maybe I will give it another chance if you guys think there's some that I should give a chance. But, yeah. But Heartless, I know I don't want for sure. I just can't get into it at all. I've tried, you guys. And, of course, the ones I read already, I'm going to get rid of for sure. But, yeah, if you guys like this video, if I could talk, thumbs up, please. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like the content that I do. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit the bell icon so you'll know whenever a video of mine is uploaded. Let me know some of the books that you recently unhauled. Are you thinking about unhauling? That's the question for today. And what else was I going to say? Remember, if you guys ever need anything, I am here. I love you guys so much. I'm always willing to listen. Just let me know, and I'll be there for you. I love you guys all, and I will be back later. Lori out.